Hello YouTube, this is HuntingGuy532, and today I'm going to show you my small survival kit. I keep mine in this old uh, cigarette tin, this old, just an old player's can I found, and I kept put mine in here, so I'm, I'm going to tear it apart and show you the contents. One of the first things in the top of it is hand sanitizer, and this is, this can help you, you know, keep uh, clean after cl uh, cleaning an animal or doing your business out in the woods. But it also you can also use it as, as a fire starter. If you just put a little dab of this by some tinder, you can put a flame or a spark to it, and it will go up almost like a mini candle for a little bit. Um, something else in here, just a this is a full size bic lighter. There's nothing special about it. Um, I tend to only use bic lighters because to me the flame goes highest. To me the flame goes highest. Uh, they last long. And, the, and you can drop these in, nine times out of ten. If you drop this in water or snow, you can uh, you can reuse it. You can get it out, clean out the snow, dry it, dry out the water, that kind of thing. And uh, nine times out of ten, it will still work. Something else in here is I have a magnesium flint stick. And what this is is you just right here, you just scrape that with a knife or the edge, wherever you prefer. And you get about a quarter size amount of pile of shavings. And then you take your knife or your sparking instrument and then strike uh, down the top of this into it. And it catches for about a second and you put your tinder over it really quickly. And you can uh, have a fire or with, or can combine it with the uh, hand sanitizer and start a fire very quickly. And it has a little chain on it. So let's say I was, uh, was going to be walking or I knew I'd be crossing rivers. The places where I could get wet, I could uh, take the chain, and if I had a knife on my hip, which I usually, which I always do in the wilderness, I could put the chain through a little loop or, or uh, on a lanyard or something attached to me. So if I ever fell, maybe lost my backpack that I was in, or the contents of my backpack were wet, I'd have this right on me along with the knife, and I could quickly start a fire. A flint, this will work when wet, so a flint is a very good option. But if you're gonna take one of the, but if you're gonna carry a flint, learn how to use it first. Never think these are one of those things that you can just learn. You know, if you had to use it in a survival situation, because if you don't learn beforehand, trust me, you will not make it work. Uh, something else I have in here is just a Victorian Ox Swiss Army knife. Nothing really special about this one. It uh, has a you know main blade, uh, small blade, and it's got these. It's got a small screwdriver, a can opener, a big screwdriver, can opener, and a wire stripper right there. That can help you uh, cut wire or snare wire, you know, snare wire, or whatever you want to twine. And then something else this had on it was tweezers and a toothpick. I lost the toothpick a while back, but it still has the tweezers, and these are a very good pair of tweezers. I like these a lot. And I've used them for pulling out splinters and stuff, and they're very, very good tweezers. Always have a knife in, in a, even in a small survival kit, always have a knife. Uh, something else I have, Space Age Blanket. You can use this for uh, building shelter, reflecting heat back to your body, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. You can use it as a signaling device. Uh, you're limited by your own imagination. You could, you could probably find a zillion different things to do with that. Uh, something else I have in here. Just a simple book of Strike Anywhere matches. You know, they're, they're not really anything special. Just, that's it. You know, you can strike it off a rock. You know, the... Or your zipper on your pants, under your thumbnail, whatever you want. Uh, I don't have the heads dipped in wax or anything. I don't really like doing that. Because uh, I find it's hard to do. I don't really care for it. And so, with adding the matches to my kit, it gives me more capabilities. I like having capabilities. These are fairly reliable. But if these ever got wet, they'd become useless to me. If I drop my lighter in a puddle or something, there's there's a high chance I'll still be able to use it. But if I ever got my flint wet, I know it'll work. So the flint is 100% reliable, unless you lose it. Something else I have in here: snare wire. You know, nothing, you know, nothing overcomplicated. Uh, you can use this for uh, building a shelter. Uh, Kept making traps. It's like having, it's like having a rope. You, know, you can also use this to help you make uh, handles for pots, that kind of thing. I used it for that before. So it's like rope. It has a thousand and one uses. 
Um, something else I have in here is a spoon. You know, uh, it's just a regular kitchen spoon. I had to bend it to make it fit in the, in the kit. And I don't want to bend it more than I have to. But in a survival situation, if I had to use this, I'd just bend it out and probably keep it out. And if it came time to, that I had to travel, I'd probably just tuck it in my pocket. Um, something else I have in here, it's just a mini bic. It's uh, what I started out with. I started out with this, you know, it's, a little, it's just a little thing. What I like about it, it gives me more capabilities. If I went to go pick berries or had to leave main camp for a little bit or something, I could take this and tuck it in my pocket. And if I, and if I needed a fire right then and there, I could pro I could probably make it with that. Um, something else I have in here is just an old candle. It doesn't, you know, uh, it can help you start a fire, bring maybe a flame or a light into a shelter safely, of course, and uh, you know keep keep lighting when it's dark, that kind of thing. Something else I have is fishing line, and it can help you if you live in an area, you know, you go by a, cr a brook or a, or a little lake or something, you could probably, uh, you probably have the means of catching a fish. And something else in here, two tea bags I gotta replace, these got wet a little while back, and I forgot to take them out, but uh, if you have these, you know, you can make things like tea, and, or you can get coffee packets or get, uh, hot chocolate packets, whatever you want. Um, bobber, just for fishing. Uh, worm with a hook in it. I like all the hooks you'll find. They stick in the worms to keep them from getting uh, hooked up to uh, getting caught on other things. Um, again, there's a spinner. I put that through a, through a worm too. Here, here's one. That'd be you know, just a grub kind of worm. And here's a bunch of the hooks through one kind of deal. Uh, sorted size hooks. I don't know, just one size. I have little ones and big ones. Uh, piece of paper. This could, uh, you could use this for writing messages, making plans, or starting a fire, that kind of thing. And last but not least, I have uh, tin foil. And this can be used for reflecting. Uh, a reflective material for signaling or making pots or whatever you want. And the last thing I have is the tin itself. And the reason why I like tins like these because if in a survival situation I needed a pot, I could punch holes in the side of this, take the twine and make a pot out of it, or I could use it as a water carrier. I could just take this down to a creek or a brook or something, fill it up with water and take the lid and carry it back to camp and purify it. That that's it for my small survival kit and it all packs into that little tin so uh, that's it for now